Okay, assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. Uh, today I'm going to continue with the um, bond anchorage and development length. And in today's class, I'm only going to talk about the uh, development length for uh, hooks. So first of all, I'm going to start with uh, uh, standard uh, hook uh, geometry for development length of deformed bars in tension. Uh, again, we'll use hooks in tension. Uh, what you guys need to know as well is that um, these geometries are a must. I mean, the development length that are, or the equations that are used, the provisions that are used in the code follow these uh, type of hooks. Uh, the development length of hook is actually defined as uh, this distance. So it's not that, this is just an extension. So this is the hook length that we are uh, talking about. Uh, for 5, 10 through 25, uh, the minimum inside diameter, which is uh, that one, should be uh, 6 diameter of the bar, uh, of the bar being uh, the hook developed for. Uh, number 29 through 36, it's supposed to be 8 dB. Uh, this extension, this length uh, here, should be 12 dB. It could be longer if you uh, choose to be but it does not increase the uh, anchorage uh, capacity. So this is for 90 degree hook. If I have a 180 deg degree hook, then again, the development length that I'm talking about is this distance right here. Uh, the uh, minimum bend diameters are, the, are those, uh, depending on the uh, hook that you are uh, using. And this is the extension, uh, that length uh, of extension, uh, which is this one. Uh, right here. So again, we need to use this geometry if we want to use the applicable um, equations and uh, modification factors. As far as the uh, stirrups and, and ties goes, so for stirrups and ties, these are the uh, geomet the geometry that we need to, um, uh, to use. Um, again, uh, for 90 degree hook. One thing you notice is that the ACI code really does not use uh, Phi 8 for uh, stirrups. Okay, Phi 8 is actually just used in our country. Uh, so you probably are using the same uh, uh, geometry here as well. Uh, so for Phi 10 through Phi 16, the minimum inside bend is for, uh, uh, for dB. Uh, that extension uh, here is uh, the greater of 6 dB and uh, 75 uh, millimeters. Uh, for phi 19, which we don't have actually, uh, so it's probably going. I'll start from phi, phi 18 to phi 25. We get 6 dB and 12 uh, dB. So these are the geometry for the uh, for the stirrups and ties, uh, uh, which if you want to have a 180 degree hook, and I sometimes use that. And this is how. Excuse my drawing my stirrup would uh, look like. So this is for the 180 hook. Again, I've just brought this up in case if you need for uh, any detailing stairs, this is where you get it from. So let's start with uh, calculating the uh, development length for hooks. One thing that you should know that the hook kind of was changed dramatically in the uh, AC19 uh, code. Okay, um, there were added factors, uh, even the diameter of the bar this used, well, let's, first of all, let's introduce the equation to you. So the development length LDH, uh, LDH uh, in tension terminating in a standard hook shall be the greater of A through uh, C. So we use equation A, calculate the hook from that, calculate ADB and then compare that with 150 millimeters and we take the larger of these three uh, values. And the equation is uh, Fy, the yield strength for the bar being hooked. Uh, Psi E is the epoxy. Psi R is what we call a confinement. Uh, Psi O is the location. And Psi P is the concrete strength times dB to the power one and a half. Then here it talks about these factors we are getting from these uh, table. Um, 
lambda again it's in our case it's always going to be one because we're only do dealing with normal weight uh, concrete if you in the future encounter something different then you know where to get that factor from for lightweight it's it's 0.75 uh, epoxy factor if it's uh, coated then it is 1.2 if it is uncoated it is uh, one uh, the confinement uh, reinforcement this is for 536 and smaller bars uh, with um, ATH and ATH, and that's the uh, total cross-sectional area of the th of the ties uh, or stirrup confining the hooked bar, and the AHS uh, is the area of the hooked bar or the total cross-sectional area of the hooked bar uh, itself. Okay, if if that ratio is available, then this factor is one. If it is not, then this value is going to be uh, 1.6. Uh, the location factor again for 536 and smaller um, if the terminating inside column core with side cover normal to the plane of the hook is more than 65 millimeters or so you have to achieve one of those two the side cover normal to the plane of the hook is uh, more than 60 dB, then you can use the factor as one other than that this is supposed to be uh, one two five uh, the concrete cover, if F prime C is less than 42 megapascals, then uh, the factor would be F prime C divided by 105 plus uh, 0.6. Uh, if it's more than 42 megapascal, then this is going to be uh, 1. Okay. Uh, as far as uh, the confining and the location, I will explain that fully in the uh, upcoming example so we can see actual number how this is calculated so moving on uh, so how do we uh, put these uh, stirrups in ties so the total cross-sectional area of ties or stirrups confining hooked bars which is again we called ATH shall consist of A or B well A means that we have to use the uh, tie uh, the stirrups in tie geometry according to uh, the second table that I showed you. Uh, now, if we are going to enclose the hooked, uh, let's say at the uh, at the beam terminating into a column, for instance, or if it's not continuous in the column, I want to terminate it. Then this, then there is two ways, and I'm not gonna say much about that I'm just going to show you uh, in the figures which is this figure right here so option one is I can lay the uh, ties uh, parallel to my hooked bar okay which is uh, like this so here I, I need I need to use at least two okay so in, in this part here I need to look to use at least two stirrups uh, but usually when again for me to use the factor of one that uh, uh, ATH over uh, AHS is supposed to be more than 0.4 so sometimes we need more but at least we have to use two okay and this has to be done within the 15 uh, diameter of the bar the spacing for this should be uh, less than uh, 8 uh, dBr a uh, dB I mean uh, the diameter of the bar and uh, so so this is one option the other option I can put the ties or stirrups perpendicular which is now right here and again you have to use at least two uh, or more uh, this distance again is just supposed to be uh, less than uh, eight uh, diameter of the bar uh, the total distance by the way it should be done within uh, not less than 75% of the uh, hooked uh, length. Uh, the same obviously goes here as well. So what you could do is you could do and try, let's say, the uh, parallel one or the perpendicular one or both. And the one that will give you, it will give uh, you the smallest uh, hook, um, you could uh, probably go with that. Okay. So again, this is usually uh, used for the calculation of the uh, cross-sectional area of ties or stirrups. Again, I will show that in the uh, upcoming uh, example. 
On the other hand, if uh, I'm terminating at the end of a beam or a cantilever, uh, which is uh, this, then the uh, cover, and by the way, um, this distance, this 65, is in the uh, what we call the plane of the hook. Okay, uh, if that's less than 65 and normal to the hook, which is as you can see from the cross section uh, here, if that's also less than 65, then I need to uh, have ties with a spacing uh, not more than uh, three diameter of the bar, and the first tie should the first tie should start uh, within uh, two uh, dB. Okay, so that's how uh, the confinement is going to happen for hooks at the end. And I, I'm sorry I failed to mention. So when do I use hooks? Well, sometimes if the uh, development length is too long for the member. So perfect example, if I have a, a footing right here, and then if that length of the bottom steel, let's say the development length is not enough, then I can add uh, this 90 degree hook here, and that will give me the, without increasing the uh, length of uh, the footing, or if uh, let's say my beam is uh, framing into uh, a column and then I want the development length again because the development length has to be this way and that way so if I don't have enough length here then I can terminate that with the hook and that's where hooks are used I should have started with that but okay. so these are uh, the provisions of how we are confining our hooks uh, inside uh, Okay, so let's start off with the uh, example. So the beam column joint in example one, uh, the phi 36 negative bars uh, are to be extended into the column and terminated in a standard 90 degree hook, uh, keeping 50 millimeters clear outside the face of the column. The column width in the direction of the beam width is 40 centimeters. Find the minimum length of embedment of the hook Pass the column face and specify the hook uh, details. The one thing you should know that this is actually an example of uh, during the uh, AC or based on the ACI 14 code, and, and I will explain. So again, here's the uh, column geometry. Here's the uh, beam. So uh, the width of the column is. 40 centimeters. Okay, so this is part of the column. And then my beam is like this, and that width is 25. Okay, so this distance right here, okay, is simply 40 minus. 25 which is uh, 15 so this distance right here is going to be seven and a half centimeters and this is also seven and a half centimeter okay so this is the distance that when we talk about the uh, factors being more than uh, 65 millimeters so you can see it's more than 75 because I have not even had uh, the cover and uh, the tie uh, diameter to that okay so now with that let's go to the equation for the hook and that's again Fy times the epoch F now Fy is 420 epoxy is uh, 1 and the confinement ratio is 1.6 and the reason uh, for that is because the uh, ratio of uh, uh, ATH is less than 0.4 AHS because if you look at the drawing here there's only one tie and the ties are 513 so one tie has two legs so that will be 
the area of 2, 5, 13. Now for the hooked and uh, for the hooked bar, which is 2, 5, uh, 36. So this area of that would be 2, 5, 36. Okay, so when you estimate the area of that, divide this by the area of the 2, uh, pi 36, it will not be uh, less than uh, 0.4. So that's why I used 1.6 here. Now, uh, the uh, confinement, uh, I mean the location is 1 because the normal to the cover, as we showed you in the slide earlier, is more than 75 uh, millimeters. Okay, and the code requires 65, so this is 1. Now, uh, the uh, concrete factor is 28 because you have f prime c 28 divided by 100 plus 0.6. Divide that by 23 square root of 28 times 30 x to the power 1.5. And, and then the development uh, hook length is almost 1 meter and uh, 5 centimeters. The only thing that to me is available is 50. One more thing. In the past, before the ASI 19, I could actually reduce this by multiplying that by the factor of uh, provided over required. But again, that also, that modification factor got canceled from the uh, ACI 19 code. So, and the only thing that is available to me is I have the uh, 55 centimeters. So this is not going to be enough. So, then I have to get rid of this 1.6. So if I add ties such that the uh, area of uh, or the total cross-sectional area of the ties confining my hook are larger than or more than 0.4 the area of uh, my uh, uh, hooked uh, bars. Uh, and you can easily calculate that. So here we're going to need at least uh, four ties. Okay. So if I add four ties over here, then I can get rid of the 1.6. Then I'm getting almost 660 millimeters, which again is more than the, uh, the 500 millimeters. So this is still no good. Uh, so uh, I'm going to need that as an exercise for you guys. Uh, try use 3532 and see if that would work. <coughs> Always when you have a problem with development lag, uh, always reduce the uh, bar diameter. Okay. Again, this was perfectly fine according to the ACI 14. I mean, there were no problem then, but with the 19, now it's becoming a headache. So it even requires now a change in the design. Uh, if 3, 532 doesn't work, then maybe we have to choose a smaller uh, bar uh, diameters. Okay. So, assuming that the 3532 are going to uh, work out for you, go back to example B, uh, B2 and uh, redo the uh, calculation for the development length. You were asking for, uh, for the hook uh, details. Now here I'm doing those for the, uh, for the 32, not the 36, assuming they are going to work. And then the minimum bend diameter is 8 uh, diameter. Uh, the extension is uh, 12 uh, dB uh, past the end of the bend in the vertical uh, direction. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And this will end the part of the hooked bars. And you guys have a nice day.